Good evening, you're watching Hangar Reports, kicking off public media and once foreign language news shows. I'm Orsha Flum. Thanks for joining us. Leaders of the International Red Cross understand Hungary's decision to reject the transport of weapons to Ukraine. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade Peter Seato said in Geneva after talks with the head of the International Committee of the Red Cross. At the meeting, the foreign minister emphasized by following this policy on the war, the Hungarian government not only guarantees the safety of the Hungarians and those fleeing the war, but that of the Hungarian-Ukrainian border as well. So far, more than 770,000 people have already arrived in Hungary from Ukraine, he added. In terms of the coronavirus, there is now peacetime in Hungary. For a month or two, the risk of another wave kicking off is certainly small, immunologist Imre Kaczkovic told NW News. The dean of the Faculty of Science of Ötvös Loren University said that the virus variants of the surrounding countries would definitely appear in Hungary as well. Vaccines provide protection against COVID-19, but those who haven't received any vaccines or have not contracted the disease yet will definitely be at risk, he added. The government will spend some 1.87 billion euros on food investments between 2021 and 2027, State Secretary for Agriculture and Rural Development Jod Fadlon said. He added, the goal is for agriculture exports to reach 15 billion euros and for Hungary to be able to produce basic foodstuffs domestically. According to the State Secretary, the war situation and the high inflation pose new challenges to agriculture, but families and the economy must be protected protected. In 2024, the European parliamentary and municipal elections in Hungary could be held on the same day. By having the two elections in the same year, on the same day, the government is expecting to save 23-25 million euros, group leader of the ruling Fidesz party, Mati Kocsis said. The proposal will be submitted to lawmakers next Tuesday, he added. And for legged heroes were rewarded at the National Tax and Customs Administration of Hungary. The 43 dogs took part in nearly 1,500 detections last year and found smuggled goods worth a total of almost 25 million euros. Minister of Finance Mihai Varga emphasized at the ceremony that the international recognized dogs were extremely great help in detections and their work also contributed to budget revenues. That's all for now, but we'll be back tomorrow night at around the same time and you can catch Hungary reports online as well. Please stay tuned and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.